When your heart's under attack Gonna give everything I have It's my destiny Justin Bieber featuring Jaden Smith as well. Never say never. I know, you probably couldn't imagine that's what that song title was. Dan Radio Style, gonna be doing a show, a little bit of a special one, I think, and personal, frankly. Um, How to stay in a good feeling, no, that's not it, hello. Uh, (laughs) Great personal example, I guess, thinking that's what I might be calling this. So right off the bat, I'm gonna give a smidgen of information regarding my specific person, okay? And there's a lot of people that have wondered why it's taken five years. And I'm going to give you a little window into that. And I'm going to also, it hopefully will help you understand why this doesn't bother me at all. So it's not that I have just been flailing about for seven or five years or whatever. So here's what it comes down to is um, five years ago, I basically was working and I had the privilege of meeting an amazing woman that just bumped into my life. And we had a uh, as she said, she I effed me. The way I look at it is we had unprotected eye sex. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It was amazing. Uh, changed my life. It was one of those moments where two souls meet each other, and it's just like I, I've been waiting to see you my entire life. And it hit us both in the same way. Now, there's circumstances um, that keep us from easily being together. And one of them, from my side, is when I met her five years ago, this woman it was so far out of my league, way out of my league, completely, totally, 100% out of my league in every way, shape, and form. So I will say, and I don't mean like in beauty and all that kind of stuff, but socially speaking, way out of my league. And I will say, honestly, in, in five years, the way this is basically played out, I have essentially tripled my salary. I have started a YouTube channel that's actually becoming successful. I have accomplished a number of voiceover jobs that have paid quite well. I have actually minimized the number of hours I actually work to create this money I'm making right now. And so I therefore have more free time to potentially spend with her. So I have come an enormously long way. I have been on a journey and have been challenging and busting my hump to become this more successful person. Now, I want to say also five years ago, probably further than that, really, probably about 10 years ago, I started like essentially manifesting more wealth in myself. And I came back from Tennessee and essentially started over. What I was not able to mail back in a box from Tennessee I did not keep. My parents were kind enough to help me with the, basically the FedEx ground account that I used. And literally, if I could not pack it in a box, it was done. I I gave it away. I had nothing. I came back with basically, you know, a suitcase and everything that was shipped and it was sitting in the garage. So started over, was manifesting things. She was a huge part of that. I have never cared about a person more than I do her, and I have never even dreamed of the idea of meeting her. Like, I just, she's so beyond what I ever imagined. Like, she's beyond perfect in my, just, and I don't mean like on a pedestal way, just, I'm so, like, stoked. I mean, just (laughs) everything about her is just so rad. I mean, she's just amazing. She's awesome. I could not have, I could not have dreamed her up in a laboratory. I could not have made her better and she still continually surprises me. So I am not the same person I was five years ago. When I look back at it and starting it back then, I knew it then too. Yes, our relationship itself has had some interesting humps and bumps and lumps and everything in between. We've had some interesting experiences along the way. We've spent time together. We've gotten to know each other. We've never really pushed the envelope too terribly much. It's always kind of been at arm's reach. There's been a number of times where it's been in contact in physical life, and then there's been times where it's just been texting, and there's been actually months and months where we didn't talk at all. 
So again, am I horribly bummed that I'm not in a relationship right now? No. I'm, I'm loving my life, enjoying the heck out of it on an awesome wave and growing and enjoying it. And just, it's like, wow, what's, what's tomorrow going to show me, right? I realize that I'm still heading in a, gr a direction that is basically pointed to the direction where she's currently at. Um, whether that's part of it or not, I mean, it's not an issue of worth. I realize I'm worthy of it. It's an issue of time. It's not instant. This is what so many people have a hard time with. It's not instant. I've tripled my salary. You don't do that overnight. It's taken me five years. That's pretty damn fast. It's not overnight. It's not going to be overnight. It's a process. It's like working out. You keep doing it. If you expect immediately results, it ain't going to happen. If you expect to go and spend an hour on the treadmill and it says you burned 340 calories and you hop on the scale right after and you weigh exactly what you did when you hopped on the scale before, well, of course. So for me, it's not an issue of how fast can it be? How fast can it be? It's not that I don't, I'm not in a hurry. I don't care. It'll happen when it's ready and perfect timing. And I'll look at it and I'll be like, I, I can't imagine this have been better had I waited longer or had it happened sooner. It would, it, it was perfect when it happened. Like I was finally ready. She's finally ready. All the pieces are finally in place. Everything's perfect, right? And then it's going to definitely happen. But like I said, I have been changing and growing and developing and learning. And I am not the same man I was five years ago. Hell, I'm not the same man I was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, whatever. I've been changing constantly. But there's a significant jump in what's been going on over really the past 10 years. I mean, hell, compared to that, I've, I've yeah. Anyway, it's been significant growth in my life and a lot of change and a lot of, a lot of evolution. This isn't braggadocious. I'm not trying to say anything like that because there's still a long way to go as far as that's all concerned. Where I'm at with the whole process is I have no doubts in my mind that the process works. I am 100% sure the process works, but I am human like every single one of you. And that is the main point of this show, not to mention giving you guys a little something, something to kind of explain why it's been a long time, why I'm okay with it, and why it doesn't mean I'm a failure. It doesn't mean I suck. It doesn't mean I can't teach law of attraction or talk about law. It's not that at all. It works perfectly. It's been working perfectly. And, and in all honesty, because of who I've become, even if I don't get to be with this most amazing person, no matter what happens, I will look at it and be like, I'm a better man in so many ways because of it. And then it will like forever. I will be grateful to her. So I, I've already won as far as I'm concerned. I'm just like still like, all right, what's be you know, what's behind this door? She seems interested in me still. All right. Cause there's no question in my mind this this is like a crazy awesome woman. So boom, right? All that good stuff happens. But like I said, I'm human like every single one of you. And that's what I'm really wanting you all to understand. All of you out there that I can't do this. And uh, that's my favorite thing to hear, frankly, is I can't. First off, can't, never could. I've told you guys that before. I'll say it many, many times. And the other thing that's funny, when people say I can't do something, then my answer generally is I agree with you. You keep telling me you can't do something, I'm not going to argue with you. You're right. You're 100% right. You can't. Keep saying you can't. You're never going to. I promise you. So like everybody else, I have my doubts. I have my moments. I have my times where I'm just like, ah, this is so frustrating, right? Like, why do I do this? So essentially, I was kind of already being a little bit on the, the negative side, if you will. I was already having my little doubt cycle started kicking in, right? Been a day into it, maybe two days into it. Now I'm starting to get bummed. Now it's like, and then I shoot her a text message, which, by the way, was a forced text message. This is something I'm very cognizant of right now. It was a forced text message. It was one of those, I haven't heard from her in a while. I should communicate to her. I need to say something. Brah, and I said it. It was a cute comment. I'm not going to totally take away from myself what it was. I think I commented on her smile and said it was the most beautiful smile. Or, I don't know, something it was really nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. But it was it was just like there wasn't really any other thing around it. And her response back was kind of awkward. And I was like, ma, that's weird. And then it was kind of for me, I went back and I'm like, well, I'm going to wait for her to contact me. We'll see how long that goes. Well, we went through Thanksgiving without communicating with each other. And I was... 
I would say probably a few days into it. And I was basically like, all right, I'm letting go. I'm done with this. This is basically going to show me we're going to, and I mean, this is me and my mind. This is the mind chatter, right? So we're going to, we're going to go through Thanksgiving and she's not going to communicate with me. This is what I'm saying to universe. Um, she's not going to communicate with me and that's going to tell me it's over. And that's what I want. I want it. I want to know that this is finally done. I can finally just go screw it. I'm done. I'm over done with this. It's just, it's, it's too long. I, I want to open myself up to whatever. And that's what I'm telling myself, right? So this is where I'm at in my whole doubt cycle. And the fact that we're not really now we're not talking because of me, because right. And us pushed out or whatever the hell you want to call that. Frankly, it's me manifesting this, right? That's the way I see it. Us pushed out, I still think is a little different than the way it's kind of said. Now I'll do shows at some point, but I just kind of leave that one alone for now. So I'm realizing that things are, you know, not looking great. I put these rules out there. I say, all right, I'm going to get through Thanksgiving. No, no contacty. It's over. She knows it. I know it. Boom. Awesome. We may be talking Christmas, but whatever. That's four weeks from now. Pfft, who cares? I'll worry about that then. And so Thanksgiving comes and goes. And I'm like, all right. So, okay. All right. And that's fine. And now I'm starting to kind of almost feel better, right? I'm starting to literally feel better because I've accepted the fact that it's over completely over. This is what I call letting go too, by the way, but this is a different version of it. I've talked about getting to this point, but being frustrated, right? And just being like, ah, I give up. This is literally like, I've decided we've somehow broken up or we're done, or we've somehow decided to terminate things. Like, like her and I had a discussion and we came to an agreement that it was over. And, uh, mind you, we've broken up once and it was like, seriously, like three months into the, into the, our start. And it was the only time. And then we had lots of times where we just stopped talking. But there's only one time where we officially broke up. And it was funny. As I said, as you wish. I, I let her have that. And, uh, and then, like, I don't know, a couple months later, she comes to her. Actually, it was a couple of weeks later. She came back and started talking and said she didn't want it to be like that. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, but anyway. So I'm starting to feel better because I finally realized, all right, it's finally, it's over. Jesus, it's been five years. Are you kidding me? I'm ready to move on. I'm ready. I'm just, ah right? And a lot of it too, these comments and all this stuff I'm constantly bombarded with, man, this stuff affects me too. That's the other part of this. I've realized this stuff affects me too. It's putting that same energy on me. Every time I got to read one of these comments, like, ah, that's activated me too. All right, cool. Great. Awesome. So again, it's all these things mixed together. I start feeling better because I basically said, all right, it's over. A few days later, boom, I'm actually finally about back to normal. Like good. Finally, and it'd been a funk for a week, week and a half. And like this whole process, about a week and a half, right? Through the holiday and then starting to feel better. You know, I was, I was dipping down to Thanksgiving. And then from there, that was really the rock bottom. When I got through Thanksgiving and we didn't talk, it was like, all right, it's over. Accept it. Moving on. It's not a big deal. I know I can meet somebody. The fact that I'm finally letting go of this, I know I'm probably going to meet someone tomorrow, you know? And that was always my thing because I have no problem meeting people. Again, like, I've manifested all sorts of crap. I'm not... It's not even a concern. Like, I'm just very, like, this is a very interesting scenario. So, like, I don't know, a couple days ago, like I said, finally, just finally feel good. Finally feel good. Walking into work. Ah, oh, everything is good. It's Monday morning. Feeling great. And, I don't know, two hours into my day, I get a text message. It's her. She's like, hi. Smiley face, XO, you know, normal thing. Like, and I'm like, huh. And like, like all the time prior, I was like, ah, if I get a text from her, I'll, you know, I'll wait like an hour. I'll wait like two hours, you know, before I text her back. I don't, you know, right. You, you say all these stupid things. Like you're making your mind up about things you haven't even gotten to yet. Totally bad idea. Never works. It's a horrible idea, in fact. But I do it too, right? Went through everything just like all of you. And I get the text message from the person I love more than anything. And I'm like, ha, Nice. So I like text her back, you know, and basically say, oh, hey, stranger. And then smiley face XO. And she ends up, I don't know, shot some other text message back to me. I end up replying in a kind of a sweet uh, way, just acknowledging how grateful I was that, you know, she said hi. I just really appreciate it. And like that melted her heart. Like I said the perfect thing somehow that affected her. And then the next day, I ended up texting her something. It's kind of funny how this played out. Next day, I ended up texting her something. And it was actually very, very cool, too. It was just in reference to the day before. Even though I was promising myself I was going to wait days before I text her again, right? Because 
I'd let go. And what's the point of continuing to, you know, like keep doing the behavior that got you to this point. Right. But again, I'm more important to me is <laughs> follow what you feel. Right. So again, next day shows up. I'm like, nah, I just wanted to let you know, this was awesome. The way this put blah, blah, blah. Right. The thing I said, was pretty cool. And she didn't reply back at all. The entire day. None. Zero zip. <laughs> and, you know, by the end of the day, I'm like, ah, I mean, it's not the first time it's happened. I'm like, ah, oh, that's weird because that was a pretty cool comment, but whatever, whatever. I know she reads them and I know it means something to her. And I just know sometimes she doesn't have, she's busy. She's a busy, lazy lady and she gets caught up in things. And I think sometimes it slips her mind, whatever the case is. Like, I'm not the only thing going on in her world. And I'm like, ah, right, whatever. It happens. It's not the first, she usually, you know. Anyway, following day, she basically follows up with a text. She's like, oh my God, I meant to say this all day yesterday and it was really kind of sweet and blah, blah, blah. So again, it's that same, where we let our thoughts take ourselves is what we experience. Where we start to bend our thoughts back downstream or back towards the goal or whatever, however you want to think of it. I don't really care, frankly. It's where you're going with your thoughts because that's affecting your energy. Like the, the video I was talking about with Anya and I, right? Thoughts, energy, thoughts, energy. These two are constantly related, directly related. Your thoughts, your energy, your energy, your thoughts, whatever. That wherever they're at, they're going together, right? So we have to make sure that these things are working for our purpose, for what we're trying to accomplish. And when we allow ourselves to go down the crap path, that's what you get. And the joy of when you start manifesting better, and I'm going to throw myself in this catalog category, and I hate bragging, so this seriously will be the only time I ever do that. I hate it. But what happens, I manifest stuff really freaking fast. And when I start getting a crappy attitude, I get crappy results quickly. It's very effective. And I've got to get my stuff steered back quickly or it tends to spiral quickly. But that is how we do this. People keep telling me they can't. Yes, you can. Your thoughts are 100% yours. 100% yours. If so-and-so keeps popping into your head for whatever reason, you can even say, he's thinking of me. I don't give a crap. It doesn't matter. They're your thoughts. And if you continue to think them, Cool. If not, have some sort of other thought you can think of. Work, your kids, some hobby you're interested in, the ocean, a vacation you took. I Whatever a happy place is for you. Your parents, when you were younger, when you rode a bike for your first time and your dad was holding the seat, whatever. The first time you flew a plane, I don't know. That'd be cool. I love flight. Not the point. What I'm talking about here is essentially we all have this within us. This is an amazing example of how you can change everything like that. And the fact is, like I said, I've loved this woman. I still love her beyond words. When it was like, it's over, it, it didn't doesn't scare me. That's not a fear. I have no fear in this. Zero. So it was just like, all right, and I almost felt better. It was easier. It's easier to just let it go than it is to keep busting my hump on this. Emotionally, at least. Like, And that's the thing. Is every once in a while, I just need a little bit back from her, I guess. And then it's like, all right, I guess this kind of feels more even-y, right? Because otherwise, it's sort of out of balance, too. I mean, it's, there's, it's a weird dynamic. And like I said, I'm becoming <laughs> a much better person for it. And I'm grateful for how this has been such a motivating force in my life. I'm definitely worthy and I'm definitely heading in directions. And I've got things on the future right now that I wouldn't have otherwise. I've got some really cool stuff that is coming. It, it, again, it plays out. It's a journey. It's not going to be instant. It takes time. Be in it for the long haul. If you really care about this person and it's all about getting back together, then who cares if it takes one month, five months, a year? Who cares? And if you do care, then there's something there and you need to look at why. Why do you care? That needs to have a light shined on it. And you need to look at what the heck's causing that because that that's a problem. 
Whatever it is that needs it to happen right now is a problem. Otherwise, love them. Easy. It doesn't create a lot of tension when you just love somebody, when you look forward to being with somebody. It's when we start getting all this drama that it gets crazy for us. So give yourself a chance. Give yourself a break. Give yourself the opportunity. And understand you're going to slip and fall. I knew it too. You're going to slip and fall sometimes. You are going to. I promise. You are going to get grumpy. I promise. You're going to have doubts at times. I promise. You have to learn to get yourself out of them. If you have gotten yourself out of them before, remember what you did because you're probably going to need to do it again at some point. It's just part of it. You're going to have your times where something activates something. Something psychs you up. There's some little thing that pops into you that you need to deal with now and heal. Some little, I don't know, demon comes to the surface. Whatever. It's going to happen. And it gets fewer and far between, I promise. Way less happens, uh, happenings of it. Or generally speaking, even in my case, they're usually for a very short period of time, like less than an hour, right? And I catch it and it's like, nah, no problem. This one was a good one. This one was awesome. This one was like, yeah, I went all the way. And it's the holidays, which is a common time. I know a lot of us are bummed, right? So again, there you go. That is how this plays out, but that's also how you work through it. It's not supposed to be perfect raindrops and sunshines constantly. It's like when people try to meditate for their first time. They expect it's like perfect silence. And they're like, ah, but I have thoughts going through my head. Well, yeah, duh. You're gonna. Let them go. Let them pass. Let it happen. Same thing with manifesting. Let it go. Let these thoughts happen. Let them pass. Don't freak out when you see it. Don't go, oh, because that just makes it happen more. Let it come and go. Don't hang on to it. Don't push it away. Let it go. Wow, that's weird that I thought that. Whatever. Anyway, so when we're finally together, just let it go. Don't go, oh, no, or, oh, no, stay away, you horrible, wicked thought. I'm the wickedest thought. I don't know. That's how the wicked thought sounds to me. Again, I know I've gone way long, and I'm just like, whatever, right? Just running with it, running, running like a madman. It's horrible. All right, we're going to go out with a great song by Three Doors Down. What is it called? Here with you, I think it is. Yeah, here without you. There it is. Stan Radio Style. Hope you guys like this, man. I know I went long. I apologize. It's like all of a sudden I look at the timer and I'm like, gotta stop. Uh, but anyway, I love it. And um, I love you guys and thank you. And uh, I don't like talking about myself. So <laughs> we're going to keep that on the chill for a while. So yeah, here's uh, Here Without You, Three Doors Down, Dan Radio Style. I'm here. Tonight, it's only 